guys, I'm Diz, this is Domino, and today's topic started on Facebook. So, you know how you're scrolling through your feed and you get those little ads that pop up? One of those ads that normally pops up for me is that Wish app. Now, I don't know why Wish thinks I want some of the things that Facebook and Wish both think I want, but they did get me clicking. And once I started clicking, the next thing I know I just kept clicking. And there is uh, some pretty weird poop on Wish, to say the least. So I'm bringing to you what I found. Now, before we get into this, it's about to get dirty up in here. <laughs> I found dirty things on Wish. I thought Wish, I, I knew you could get like anything on Wish, but I didn't realize the quality of things that you could get on Wish. So before we get into this, as we're going along, if you find something that you have bought on Wish, I would like to hear about that down in the comments because I'm not doing it. <laughs> so the first thing I found was the Modern Design Useful Stop Snoring Cones Men's Anti-Snore Nasal Dilator Breathe Easy Condition Aid Tool. Do you know what that looks like to me? That looks like a nose booger catcher booger nose booger neater. <laughs> you know, really seriously though, um, I, I looked up like the best snoring defense mechanisms and this sh shit wasn't on the list. Number two, the double eyelids trainer, double eyelid cosmetic beauty tool. So let's look this up to see if this actually works. Let's see if somebody put something out there on here for us. Well, why is this so loud? Let's turn her down. We don't need her that loud. Okay, yeah. Let's get into this lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Support your channel. I like it. Don't worry, I like this video. I've never heard anybody pinching their nose bridge. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. I didn't even catch that. But then again, I didn't really realize that this was for Asian people because when I first saw it, I just thought it was upside down reading glasses and was like, who wants upside down reading glasses? Flexible. Well, it almost looks comfortable to wear. Okay, I'm skipping. Get to it. Oh, oh, it's working, but she doesn't like it. I don't see a difference. Oh, she, she has triple eyelids. That's weird. Yeah, move it. Yeah, op open it up over there. Yeah, yeah. I I don't mean, I, I'm not saying this to sound racist or anything, but it kind of does look like it was made for, made for, for white people. It, it doesn't seem to be working for this lady, which doesn't make any sense. I don't need a third eyelid. Okay, I'm out. The next thing I found was a 2P CS Lot New Magic Painless Hair Removal Depletion Sponge Pad Save Way 2. Didn't, didn't screenshot that part. When I saw this, I was like, why is that poor man ripping off his skin? I completely did not realize that those two cookie looking objects are actually what they're selling because I'm distracted by nipples. <laughs> More specifically, one nipple. And if that is indeed that man's chest hair that he's ripping off like a shirt, what's wrong with men having chest hair? I feel like the advertisement here needs to be my leg hair because my leg hair is like Domino's legs kind of standard of gross. <laughs> I don't know any guy that's gonna buy these little things to rub on his chest that are pretty pink and, and bluish, greenish, bluish, just to rub on his chest to get rid of his chest hair. And if he does, don't you know, chest hair is manly. It, it gives you the feel of being furry. <laughs> it looks like he went from, from being a man to ripping off to being a boy on the inside, like Peter Pan or something. I just, I don't get it. I, I realize that it's like a digital image, but it's trippy and weird. <laughs> Speaking of trippy and weird, <laughs> the next thing I found is a men's teddies bodysuit bar suit pant leather black red swim zipper plus size. <laughs> what are they plus sizing? <laughs> <laughs> Can you get it bigger in the package area? <laughs> I do like that it comes in two different colors and I nip to the zipper. <laughs> I would like to point out here that that gentleman in the black, I think they're both the same guy, but it doesn't matter. The one in the black, I would like to point out he's been using the cookies from the last one. <laughs> he has no chest hair. I know I feel like I'm picking on guys that don't have chest hair. We need to get back to topic here, talking about these teddies. Those look hot. 
and sweaty and like <laughs> two seconds in that thing and your skin's gonna be just seeping out so it's going to be your body and then then just a lake of sweat and then this plasticky leather business <laughs> that looks like a horribly uncomfortable idea leading in with the teddy we're gonna go jump right into some sexy men's panties that i found and i knew that there was sexy men's panties out there i just have a perspective of sexy men's panties just being like men's underwear <laughs> i don't think they need special sexy underwear per se and and with that being said some of the sexy women's underwear we'll get into some of them too i don't find too sexy neither all right guys uh, this is it. This is what <laughs> I will have to say. They look um, <laughs> like they got some easy access. They look ready to rock. <laughs> I get that they're advertising this not to be sexy for women to look at it and be like, that's sexy. Seeing that man in that underwear is top notch. Yeah, I get it that it's more focused to men being attractive to other men. Which is great, but if I don't think it's sexy and I'm attracted to men, I really am going to make the assumption that that's not really as attractive as they think it is. <laughs> and just because I'm a pervy perv, we're gonna zoom. <laughs> this looks like there could be some potential. You you actually see some, some modelage. You do! You definitely see it! But on a high note, if you do find these underwear attractive, they come in different colors. <laughs> the next ones I found, I'm glad that they didn't use a real model, but I wish that they used more of a model <laughs> so I could get a better image of how exactly these are supposed to work out because this model is really confused. Um, if you look at the model itself, it looks like it's holding, holding the shaft in place which you would think with that gigantic hole there, that that would be where. <laughs> and they're only $1.67, which which makes me wonder, $1.67, um, I, I am all for cheap underwear, but $1.67, <laughs> that kind of underwear is gonna be up your your bottom. It's going right up the tuckus. <laughs> it's floral pattern too? Floral lace, mesh. Mesh? Is it lace or is it mesh? That's two different materials. <laughs> you know, I used to sell women's underwear and I don't really think that's briefing. I think men's briefs are like more, more fabric than, than that. I, I think that would fall into the category of a cheeky. They don't even show like a back picture of them. I wanna see, I wanna see what the butt looks like. <laughs> The next item I have on my list is actually something that I found scrolling through my Facebook, as you see. Uh, what the f is that? <laughs> it's one of the pictures that got me into looking up all this stuff. I don't mean to sound naive <laughs> because I don't have the proper handling material <laughs> to utilize this to the full extent of its glory. Uh, but <laughs> I do have some experiences with thongs and the thinner the thong, the less you notice that it's there. You know, that looks pretty wide and it also looks like it's nothing but elastic and having just straight up thick elastic riding through your butt crack. <laughs> and if that one is bad for you, <laughs> I found these. <laughs> okay. I got, I got some questions. Okay, first thing. <laughs> I see where the Johnson <laughs> is supposed to come out. But that looks like to me that it gets wider towards the end. <laughs> and I know, I know penises come in all shapes and sizes, but I've never seen one shaped like a club before. <laughs> Look, Dom, it's made for the caveman. <laughs> Okay, realistically though, how do you get that on? <laughs> Where do you put your balls? I mean, if, if you have big family jewels, I don't get where they're supposed to go in there. Is that little part there gonna be going inside too? Like, I just feel like, I feel like that's not really gonna work out. I feel like it's just gonna wrinkle up. All right, enough with the boys underwear. We're gonna step into some Ladies garb. This is a pair of panties that I found that completely defeats all purpose of panties. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is that does not fit the purpose of a bikini because it's just tassely tassels 
hanging down. It's like bejeweled. I mean, it's shiny and it's pretty, but it's not covering your hoo-ha. <laughs> it's like one of those doors with the beads that the hippies, the hippie doors or whatever, where you kind of got to go through the beads <laughs> to get there. It's like going on a lion hunt. <laughs> Trying to catch the big one. <laughs> I like how they tell me that it's for the summer. It is a summer sexy tassels bikini cross cover. I'm still lost on the covering part. <laughs> Why are we covering? <laughs> it's like a chandelier <laughs> beaming the light. <laughs> Look to my hoo <laughs> The next pair of panties I found were these guys. Now these guys come in two colors. Bless their hearts because we need options when it comes to pearls that are rusting in places they should not be. First question, what are those pearls made out of? Second question, why are those pearls there? <laughs> that looks like that's going to go right into where I don't want it. <laughs> that does not look comfortable. I know they're for sexy time. I think for sexy time, those are going to be uncomfortable for all parties involved. Another thing I would like to point out about these panties is the little doll. Who are we marketing these uh, panties to? And why do we feel like it's a good idea to put a child's toy next to said panties? I realize these panties are meant for sexy time and sexy time is meant for having babies, but I don't feel that kids should be related to sexy time. Even though there is kind of a connection there, there is not a real connection. It's weird and pedophilic. The next item I found was these. Now I've seen these sold a lot in all different, I've seen them on Amazon, eBay, everywhere. eBay worries me because it's eBay. I think I speak for all men here. You meet a girl, she's wearing the push-up booty. You take her home. <laughs> she takes off that dress and then she takes off the push-up booty and now you're disappointed. <laughs> it is false advertising. And I, I get it, I get the whole movement of, we need to do things as women because we wanna feel beautiful. I get it, you want a bigger booty, you're doing it for you, have at it. Just know, if, if you're not really doing it for you, if you're doing it for him, the second the booty push-up pad comes off, he's gonna be, what happened to the booty? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your booty. You don't need the push-up booty. <laughs> Which leads me to this. <laughs> the push-up booty workout pants. Nobody looks good working out. When we're working out, we're pumping, we're getting sweaty, we're running, we're pushing, we're doing whatever it is that we do. We're curling. There's Whatever workout you do, you do not look sexy doing it. It's not a sexy thing. It's the thing that will make you look sexy. It's not... The act itself is not sexy, it's the aftermath, okay? You don't need push-up booty, jogging trouser, gym slim pants, leggings, U1RNXH3473. You need to stay focused on building the booty. <laughs> if you're wearing a fake booty and somebody goes to grab it, they're gonna feel the sponge, not, not like a but, but like a seafoam mattress or something. <laughs> and that leads us to this one. Okay, for first thing first, the only thing the lady on the top has in common with the lady on the bottom is they're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> That's it. That is not the same lady. You cannot tell me that this piece of fabric here is containing oh, all of that in to look like her. That is Photoshop. <laughs> I don't even think Photoshop could fix this. This is two different girls. <laughs> if you are a 3XL, you are not looking like the lady that is on the screen here. It can't just take all of your excess weight and just put it in some place. It takes up space, like actual space. There is not enough room to sh push and mush and look it all in anywhere like that. You liars. It's a bunch of liars. The next thing I found was nipples. I mean, this shirt. <laughs> Not only do we have a cat licking its butthole, but <laughs> she's nipping, guys. <laughs> now, the next thing I've been thinking about getting just so that we can match. <laughs> what is this for? Is this just like a joke? Is this just for fun? Hey, look, guys, I'm a dog. <laughs> it's $4, though. I don't know, if you're, 
If I'm paying four dollars for it, I'm automatically expecting a piece of garbage. I'm expecting it to be made out of that like pleathery weird stuff and it to be all crunched up in the package so when I put it on it's gonna be worse than one of those masks you can buy at Walmart. Speaking of masks, I also found a pussy mask and not that kind. <laughs> you know, I get that it has three sizes, but I'm gonna tell you this, my cat is quite crafty. And if I put that thing on her, she'll have that thing off in a heartbeat. I would like to point out here that cat is on like a drying rack. <laughs> and it's already dry. <laughs> All right, guys. It's about to get real, <laughs> real quick. Because I found a different kind of mask. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about when you find dirty things on Wish is they bleep out the head. They don't bleep out the rest, they just bleeping out the tip. <laughs> As if I don't know <laughs> what this is. You're just the tip. The next thing I found is make it bigger. <laughs> but instead of giving us like gentlemen showing us how this thing is used, they just drew us pictures. <laughs> It's pretty self-explanatory on how that thing works. Now, I want to know, where is this? You can just put it on in the morning and go about your day. Wear it under your pants. <laughs> now, the next thing. I realized <clears throat> it does look a little confusing because there's a lot of jibbly jumble pictures, images going on there. I think that was intentional in the advertisement perspective. But I will tell you this. This is not fog spray for making stage effects. <laughs> it will spray something. <laughs> now, the next one is all about what mood you're in. <laughs> when I first saw these, I thought they were those little chapsticks. <laughs> one piece silicone eggs. Healthy. <laughs> I think I'm just more confused on how the thing works. I mean, I flipped through the pictures a couple times now, and I just don't. We'll Google it. Uh, we got a lizard dissecting. Yay! No, this is not... Yeah! A self-stroker! Yeah! I don't get it. <laughs> Holy Jesus, your whole thing's an hour long? Oh, we're gonna start skipping. So I Google it. <laughs> and you know what I find? A woman using it to put on makeup. <laughs> what is this world coming to when, when women now have compensated men's pleasure tools to be putting their makeup on with. <laughs> the next item I have to show you guys today is um, interesting. I like it. It's weird to me, okay? <laughs> it's like an old school razor phone from the outside and then you pop it open and it's like, like a teeth chewing thing. It's got a mouth and everything with the lips, with the tornado in its mouth too. I don't know what the tornado means. <laughs> 2019 new mini rubber toy box. Toy box? I'm not putting my toys in that box. <laughs> From the magical feeling of the East. What? The magical feeling from the East? What about the wild wild west? The next one I found really hits the red spot. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Is it go all the way around or is it just a side to side motion? <laughs> this equals sexy man. <laughs> Advertisements get me. <laughs> so they have this all directed to men, but we get here this super quiet <laughs> with a woman sleeping like, you can use this late at night, it won't wake you up. <laughs> how, how is this not gonna wake me up? <laughs> This one also gave us a diagram. <laughs> Thank you. This is where we mean for you to stick it. <laughs> and then there's this one. I get the shower one. I mean, you got water coming in and it's all clean and cleaning and stuff, but a cleaning kit pressure washer? <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean to tell me when you're pushing on it and, and it's coming back and nothing's going back in, you're not just recycling? <laughs> Growth! Next I found an outdoor hunting telescope. Zoom camping tool, ultra bright camping tactical torch. I don't know what torch you're using to camp with, but... <laughs> the next one that I have is a cellulite body massager. <gasps> Her cellulite's being taken away. Dumb, it's got a tongue. It's waterproof too. 
So through my searches, this popped up, and it's really hard to take this seriously at a time like this. <laughs> that was a lot of this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> now, I wasn't actually sure what this was, so I had to like click on it to figure out. It really is an exhaust muffler. You really do stick that into your car exhaust. <laughs> not, not your exhaust, but your car's exhaust. <laughs> the next thing I found, I didn't actually know was a thing until I found it. And when I saw it, I was like, that looks dirty. And then when I researched it, I realized that's not actually that dirty. It just looks like an uncomfortable massage thing. This looks more like just a hickey maker for your back. <laughs> Why do I need suction? <gasps> on my back. I am half tempted to get some of these to try them out. This one looks more like it's just a Ziploc bag that I'm supposed to pee in. <laughs> I go pee a lot and I wish that there was something for me to pee in a car because <laughs> my brothers they can just pee in bottles it's no big deal but for me I have to use one of those like McDonald's cups with the plastic thing so I have a wide <laughs> to pee in that. A plastic bag turned sideways sounds like a great idea. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to go to girls camp and at girls camp we always talked about getting a funnel with the really long tube so we could pee standing up and honestly it's a great idea but this better idea because you can pee anywhere with this. I mean you just cup it and pee into it. It'd be genius. The next things are just interesting things I found. I think this may have been one of the first things that Facebook popped up for me that was like, hey, we're dirty over here. And I snapped a picture of it and posted it to my Facebook asking if anybody else got weird wish things like this. I clicked on it back then and still to this day don't know what that is. I know it's an elephant with a really long schnong. <laughs> Alright guys, those are just some of the weird shit I found on Wish uh, here recently. Um, if you guys have found weird things on Wish, I would like to hear about it. I want to know about the titles and the amazing advertisement that they've used and however else they have come up with doing things. And as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like me, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. If you're really just here for my dog, you can follow her on Instagram at this is having a bad day. And we have tweeted. We have started the bird talking business at this bad this underscore bad at twitter at twitter on twitter with twitter we're tweeting thank you for watching stick around for the outtakes oh my shit dom we finished it no get out of the slideshow ah! are you entertained look at me dom coming out of the shower gun holding my baby parts oh dear god she got the big titties <laughs> like a whoop whoop Whoop, whoop, pop that open and it all just, bleh. get it, Dom. They're pink pants. It's pinky popping.